violence. It's a theme we've touched on before now in this fortnightly look back on the past three days. And, uh, I dare say it's one we'll touch on again, and we don't apologise for that. Violence is not something that's going to lie down and go away. Mm. Well put. Uh, but the point is, surely, uh, what are we going to do about it? Well, I suppose the phrase that best sums up our approach is responsibility television. Now, what does responsibility television mean? Well, it means that we're immensely concerned that nothing we do has a bad influence on our viewers. Thus, when I hit you, like so, um, we have to consider what the effect on the viewer might be. Yes. Mm. Is, um, is a vulnerable, easily led section of our audience going to start imitating this kind of behaviour? Well, so far in this series, I've hit you on no less than a startling five occasions. You might think we had no thought at all as to how the young might be influenced by this kind of senseless, horrific violence. Would they start to imitate it? Hugh. Well, the interesting and inescapable that we've come up with um, is <laughs> yes. Because uh, since the series has started to be transmitted, I've found, walking along the street, uh, that I've been hit on no less than 12 occasions by complete strangers. So, it looks as if the suggestible out there are actually imitating my violent behaviour patterns and striking them. That's right, yes, yes. Is that a worrying development? Well, it's not unworrying. Right. <laughs> so it may be that the Milton Shulmans and Mary Whitehouses of this world aren't as incredibly stupid as they appear at first, second and thirty-fourth glance. <laughs> Um, are we unwittingly helping to make Britain a more violent place? Well, it's beginning to look horribly like it, yes. Right. Yes. Well, let's stop now and let's see if we can't reverse this whole process. Now, would all those out there who are stupid enough to go out on the streets and hit Hugh just because they've seen me do it on television, would they now kindly watch very carefully as I now smile at Hugh, hand him a five-pound note and say, There you are, old chap. There's a fiver for you. <laughs> Have a really super time. Oh, look. Here's another one. And another. <laughs> well, there you go. Bless you. Well, thank you very much, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> Indeed, I certainly don't mind you saying so. In fact, it's quite kind of you. Here's a fiver. <laughs> well, thank you, I'm sure. Good. Well, I hope now, Hugh, you're going to monitor the public's behaviour very closely. And if you find people are approaching you now with five-pound notes instead of clenched fists, you'll come back on the programme and let us know? I certainly will, yep. Thanks so much. There's a fiver. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, then. Just time now to go over to Devizes and to catch up with Chris and that giant sauna. Chris.